Before we invite our children down, I have a couple quick things I want to let you know. Baptism class students, we will be having class immediately following church this morning, heading down to the elders meeting. Uh, they're going to meet their elders, do some activities, get to know our elder body, and hear Aaron's wonderful presentation on thriving congregation. So that's what every kid wants out of a baptism class, the 10 traits of thriving congregation. <laughs> it's going to be wonderful. So parents, we'll pick up about 1.30. If we get done early, I'll text you to let you know. Also, an update. Over the month of February, our children raised money for Week of Compassion, and I was able to get the change counted this week. And with a little late addition from our wonderful Claire Fletcher this morning, we have raised $380 for Week of Compassion our children have. So that's a wonderful thing to celebrate. If you were unaware, we had a little bit of a competition going between the Sunday school classes, and uh, I'm proud to report that since the preschool, kindergarten, and first, second grade class were within like $3 of each other, both classes are going to receive a Sunday school party coming up in the month of March. So that's going to be exciting. We'll get that information out when we have the date and when we're ready to go. But I want to thank all of our kids and parents and church members who gave to Week of Compassion. We've seen their impact here in Western Kentucky since the tornado, and their impact is felt all over the world. So I'm so glad Madisonville, Kentucky can be a part of helping that ministry that helps so many people who are so different than we are. So let's go ahead and invite our children's down for our children's moment. Good morning, everyone. As normal, we have a story this morning. I want to tell you a little bit of a story. It's kind of what Pastor Kara is preaching on today. See, Jesus, what's something Jesus used to do? He would preach, and then he would perform. Do you know what they're called? So. Yeah, they're, the word is miracles, but you're right. There's things that made people realize that God was close to them, that God was here, that Jesus is the, as the Bible tells us, the perfect representation of God, but that's a big word. So Jesus is God's son. Jesus is on the earth performing miracles, and he runs in to this man who had lived in this community for a long time, and he was born blind. And somebody wants to ask him a question. Jesus, why was this person born blind? Was it because he did something wrong? Was it because his parents did something wrong? Why would this person be born blind? And they want Jesus to have an argument with them, right? Have you ever had that somebody, there's a problem have you ever tried to solve a problem before and everybody wants to spend a lot of time talking about the problem, which sometimes can be really good, talking about things, help us understand why the problem exists or how a person feels about what's going on. But to Jesus today, he wanted to be a problem solver. So Jesus, while talking to him, goes ahead and heals the blind man. And then he talks to the people, the Pharisees who ask the question. But the most important thing to Jesus was that this man could see again. This man wanted to see. Jesus healed him so that he could see. See, sometimes our job is to just be a problem solver. Sometimes we see something, and it's so simple to help somebody out. And we may feel kind of nervous about helping them, or we may feel like we're not the person who's supposed to help them. But sometimes you just need to get up and help the person who needs help. That can be a sibling at home. That can be a friend at school, somebody you play sports with, who maybe there's something you're really good at, they're not as good at. It could be in our classrooms. It could be here at Logos in Children's Choir or during Sunday school. There's a lot of opportunities, but we have to pay attention, and we have to try to be a problem solver, right? That's one way Jesus ministered to people. You guys want to pray with me before we go to worship? Can you guys repeat after me when we pray? Say, dear God, thank you for showing us how to treat others. In your son's name we pray. Amen. I threw a curveball at you. 